Andy Musetti, the director of The Flash, has reportedly been tapped to direct The Brave and the Bold. This makes a ton of sense as The Flash is getting crazy good reviews right now. Even James Gunn, the one in charge of The Brave and the Bold, has praised the film. This new Batman is going to feature Damian Wayne for the first time. For those of you guys who don't know, that's actually Batman's son. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has dominated the box office, having the biggest opening day of 2023. It brought in $120 million domestically and over $200 worldwide. The legendary Edward James almost is joining Marvel's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur for season two. He's going to be playing the main villain, Molecular Man. First images of this version of Molecular Man looks very different than the comic book version, so I'm not sure if they're going to be changing his powers or anything like that. He looks way different. But it's awesome to have Edward attached to something Marvel. Yellow Jacket's co-creator, Ashley Lil, confirmed on Twitter that there is going to be a bonus episode that fits in between season two and three for Yellow Jackets. This comes after the finale of season two, kind of leaving fans thinking like, there should be more to this, and Ashley coming out to confirm it. Make sure you guys check out Yellow Jackets. It's a really good story, and season one and two are over on Showtime. The Directors Guild America has come to a three-year deal with the AMPTP. This is one of the three big unions that are currently dealing with the producers, including the WGA and SAG-AFTRA. Obviously, the WGA is currently on strike, and SAG-AFTRA has already seeked approval for a strike. Many of the WGA members took to social media to express their disappointment in DGA for accepting this deal. They see this as a way to undermine them in their efforts. This is exactly what happened in 2007 and 2008 during that strike. There's a lot going into this. Again, I'm just giving you the broad strokes, but I link to a lot of really good resources on our website. Miyazaki's final film called How Do You Live is set to release in Japan July 14th. Obviously Miyazaki's had an incredible career and Studio Ghibli is a household name now. What's impressive about this film on its own is the fact that they're doing no marketing for it. You will not see any additional images outside of this one I'm showing you now or trailers before the release of the film. Toshio Suzuki, the lead producer for Studio Ghibli, expressed in interviews that they want to enhance the movie going experience and felt like marketing kind of ruined that experience for them. It makes a lot of sense when you think of Marvel like we kind of know what the story is in a Marvel movie but before we even go see it. It also helps that it's got Miyazaki's name attached to it because people will see it for that alone. But props to Studio Ghibli and the entire team for wanting to preserve that movie magic. Again, this will be out in theaters in Japan July 14th.